I got the shadow all loaded up and strapped down. And uh, if you guys seen my trailer to meet, you know, that's not my trailer. <sighs> uh, but yeah, I got it cross strapped to the front and at the back. I'm going to stop at a car wash and wash it on the way. This is my neighbor's trailer. And uh, there wasn't no wiring to it. It was all tore up. So I went and uh, run all new wire from the tail lights all the way up. Soldered everything in. Heat shrink it. Uh, used the wire casing to help protect it because it runs through a metal pipe down the center here. And then it wires out over to the sides for the side lights. And then runs through these conduit pipes to the back but I got it all wired in and uh, why am I borrowing my neighbor's trailer <laughs> well you guys are getting ready to get some insight into why I hardly ever get anything done I got the, uh, the shadow done um, did a whole bunch of work to it it runs great now I went to load it on my trailer yesterday and I found out my trailer has a couple of issues <laughs> my $200 Craigslist trailer has issues which I've had it you know over a year <sighs> still got mud from uh, the red beers meat on it whenever I loaded that ATV on there and tried to wash it but I went to get to look at the back of my trailer and uh, my cross members are rotted almost in two. I mean, there's not really any structure left back there. So I've got to replace that beam. It's almost rotted in two here. And this two by six that they added to the side of it here, um, they put in some big lag bolts and those have rotted out. I mean, the whole back end is just shot. You can see it flex there the whole sides flexing so I'm gonna have to get me some steel and rip the floor out of this trailer and uh, completely rebuild that trailer I think uh, I'm good from the axle up but anything from the axle back is just pretty much shot <sighs> yay but I do have the shadow loaded up and uh, I'm fixing to take it for a drive. And uh, the neighbor, he ought to be happy. I rewired his trailer for him and replaced the lights and everything. You can see some of my wiring here, the heat shrink tubing. And it's all soldered, triple shrink tubing with uh, the sticky inside so that it seals it from water. And then on the other side over here as well. But yeah, that bike's on there real solid. It ain't going nowhere. All right, let's get this adventure started. Let's get her all cleaned up now. The hose hung on the light there.
There we go. Now we'll switch it. Well, we're moving along again. Now I know, an exciting morning. But, nah. I'm just trying to get stuff caught up before work. Anyway, uh, yeah, I hope everybody's having a great weekend so far, even though it's uh, just Friday. And uh, if you guys haven't already, go subscribe to Go Kart Community Johnny and Johnny Garage. That way we can get them up to 100 subscribers, which they're they're slowly growing. Um, you know, once we get them up to 100, uh, we've got uh, a giveaway that's going to be coming up. And uh, we just got to get those two channels up to 100, and then we'll uh, start that giveaway and uh, give the full announcement. Because uh, we got one guy that's going to give away some tools, and we got uh, another guy, uh, it's Twisted R. Uh, Twisted R Racing, he's giving away a $50 gift card, and uh, then I'm going to be giving away a, another impact driver, so uh, let's get those up to uh, 100 subscribers each, and if you haven't already, uh, you need to go and uh, look up my video for my 200 subscriber giveaway, and uh, the giveaway is going to be coming up very soon. Uh, it'll be at the beginning of uh, next month that I'll be giving away, doing the drawing to give away that uh, Black & Decker Impact Driver and uh, Impact Driver Kit so that you could uh, you could use uh, Phillips or straight bits in it, uh, Torx, um, Allen bolts, you know, Allen sockets or whatever. Um, and it also, you know, I'm not giving away all those tools with it, I'm just giving away the Impact Driver with a quarter inch chuck on the end and uh, the socket adapters that go with it. Uh, the socket adapters go from quarter inch to three eighths to half inch drive and if you guys are working on engines or doing any kind of work around the house that you know requires ratchets and you know wrenches and tools that impact driver is a huge huge uh, benefit to have. Uh, it speeds things up quite a bit. Um, I mean, if you got your sockets all laid out, um, you can tear down a uh, Predator engine in less than five minutes. And I mean, you can tear it down completely in less than five minutes with this impact driver. Uh, it, great time saver. So you guys need to get over there and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like that video. And then throw a comment down there that you want to be entered into contest. And uh, once I announce the winner, um, you know, it shouldn't be but a couple of days. And uh, that impact driver will be shipped to your house once I have your address. Um, and I'll do uh, two days shipping on it, which, you know, it could be four days that, you know, after I get your address that you get it. Because sometimes it takes them a minute, depending on the day of the week. You know, but you'll have you a nice little impact driver that'll save you time. Just uh, subscribe to this channel, look up that video, like that video, and throw a comment down there that you want to be entered, and uh, then we'll do our drawing next month. All right. Anyway, um, I've got the motorcycle on the trailer behind the truck, so uh, I'm gonna take it on over here and. Uh, you know, it, I don't know if the lady will be home or not, but we'll go ahead and do a delivery video anyway. And then we'll get this one right here posted up. Well, okay, uh, we got the bike delivered. Um, sorry I didn't get any footage of it or whatever, but uh, she had to go to work. And, uh, I mean, it was just a quick, you know, sling the straps off of it, fire the bike up, and uh, pull it in her garage. And then, uh, you know, get the heck out of there because she was already running late to go to work. Hang on, city buses are everywhere. But, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, we got it delivered. She's very, very pleased with the way it runs and the way it starts and, you know, all that. Um, 
Yeah, and she said she's actually going down tomorrow to put tags back on it because, I mean, the bike's set for like four years before um, she wanted me to have a look at it. And, you know, carbureted motorcycles do not do good at all setting like that. It Carburetors get ruined like that, especially if you don't, you know, start them up every now and again or, you know, what have you. And I mean, with my bike, I started up once a week throughout the winter time of this too cold ride. I, I still start it up and let it run for a few minutes every time, you know, every week. Just to keep the fuel system circulating and uh, all that. And I also put a stabilizer in the fuel tank. And uh, it, it keeps my injectors from uh, getting all jacked up and keeps my battery up so the battery lasts longer. And they're just... You know, even if it's winter time, you still got to start them up every now and again. At least that's what I do. But uh, she let it set one winter, and uh, the carburetor got all jacked up, and they just let it set. It just sat in the garage, and uh, got covered in dust, and you know the carburetor just kept corroding out, and uh, then the seals went out in the fuel petcock, so I had to replace the petcock, and um, a lot of the cover gaskets were rotten too and a lot of the hoses were dry rotted so I replaced a lot of the vacuum lines and everything else on that bike I mean it took quite a bit to get it back going and uh, but if you just start them up every once in a while you know once a week once every two weeks let it run for a little while you avoid all that mess and all that expense of trying to get it fixed but like I said it's it's delivered so they're real happy with it. And, uh, well, I was going to stop by Brad's, but he's off in Murfreesboro shopping somewhere. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I'm going to try to find some kind of trouble to get into for the next couple hours. Because I come in this way early just so that she can help counterbalance the bike when I take the straps off. I mean, you know, just to be on the safe side whenever you take those straps loose, it's nice to have somebody to kind of help hold the bike to make sure it doesn't overbalance and you know what have you because better to be safe than sorry on that kind of thing but anyway guys uh reckon we'll see you later